Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And today, I'm gonna be talking about the best bang for your buck shoes that you can get right now. So what I mean by best bang for your buck is basically you get the best tech, best quality materials for the best price, you know? And Nike and like big companies don't really have the best bang for your buck shoes. Like sometimes out of the blue, once in a while they do, but usually they don't because you know, they're cheap models, they like to keep it cheap, materials and all that. In their most expensive models, they like to put, you know, all their best quality tech into it. So uh, Nike and Adidas, you know, the bigger companies, you know, they don't really have a lot of bang for your buck shoes. Not saying that they don't have any, but uh, they don't have a lot. Uh, compared to like the newer companies like, you know, New Balance, they usually want to put their best tech into their like only signature model for basketball or whatever. So if you guys want to cop any of these shoes, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. I have six shoes, I, I would say, Number six is probably like a little bit of a consolation because it is a little expensive, but the tech that you're still getting is really good. So I want to include it. So uh, yeah, let's get it start off with number six, which is the Omnis. It comes in at 140 bucks. You know, New Balance is new to the basketball scene and it is Kawhi Leonard's signature shoe. So 140 bucks for a first signature shoe, I think is a little expensive, but you know, it's Kawhi Leonard. And the tech on the shoe is really good. So uh, the cushion, you get full length fuel cell and fuel cell, feels incredible. I, I feel like it's one of my favorite cushion setups in any shoe right now. It feels really, really nice. And to me, it's perfect because it's not too bouncy, but has a nice bounce, has a nice compression, impact protection is good. Court feel and responsiveness is also really good. So overall, that cushion setup is, is incredible. Uh, the material also is really nice. You know, they use a full length, basically a knit. Uh, I believe they're calling it like a fit weave material. Um, but uh, on foot, in the toe area, feels great. It has that little stretchy collar. And uh, the quality is there, you know. Uh, it's, besides, I would say like the, uh, the leather strip in the ankle area, that feels a little cheap. But other than that, the, oh, the overall material is, is really nice in quality. So uh, I just want to kind of squeeze that shoe in there, even though it is a little bit on the expensive side, but you're still getting really good tech. All right, moving on to number five is a shoe from Jordan brand, and it's the Jordan Jumpman Diamond Mid. It's coming in at 120 bucks, which is uh, fairly cheap. I would say borderline budget, kind of getting into the expensive part of things, but it's on sale for like 95 bucks on Nike.com right now. And that's a great deal. You know, the material is basically like a textile material throughout the entire upper, the toe. It is a little stiff at first, but you know, once you break it in, it gets really soft. The cushion isn't the best, you know, as far as the tech goes, but it's, it's just a regular Phylon midsole. But, you know, Jordan brand has been doing something with their midsoles and making it really soft. The heel has pretty good compression and then the four foot zoom unit feels great. And the combination of those, you know, of, of those two things, the zoom unit and the soft midsole makes the cushion really nice. So not only do you get pretty good tech with that shoe, it's a really good performer. The traction is insane. The body is really, really good. And in my opinion, it's a really good looking shoe. So um, yeah, 95 bucks right now on Nike.com and you're getting good tech. All right, moving on to number four is a shoe from Adidas and it's the Harden Volume 4. It comes in at 130 bucks, down $10 from last year's model, the Harden Volume 3, which was 140 bucks. So 130 bucks is still slightly expensive, but you know, the materials are actually really nice. You, it's basically like a prime knit material. Uh, I would say the fuse in the toe box area for my colorway feels a little bit cheap. It looks like duct tape, you know, especially in my colorway, you know, but the overall material in the toe and it going into the midfoot and uh, ankle area is actually really nice feels great on foot. And then you're, you're getting full length light strike, you know, it's, it's basically one of their newest cushions and uh, it feels really nice. You know, I, I wouldn't say it feels as nice to me as the uh, fuel cell from the Omnis. It feels a little bit mellower than that, but it's still really nice. It's a really good performer as well. So um, yeah, hard volume four. Moving on to number three is the Anta KT5. And it's 130 bucks. I'd say again, medium pricing, you know, 120 bucks is where I cut it off for budget. And then I guess like 130 or 120 to like 150 to 160 is I guess medium pricing. But yeah, 130 bucks, you get a full knit upper. It feels incredible. It feels very soft. It's pretty thick, so it gets a little, it gets a little hot. But other than that, it, it, it's premium. It feels great. And it's, it's kind of funny because like, you know, three to four years ago, finding knit like that on a cheap shoe was really hard a long time ago. And now a lot of companies are just putting knit on like all of their shoes, which is great, you know, which is great. And you, you also get full length A flash foam on that, you know, on that shoe. And, and it's really soft. I wouldn't say it's 
bouncy it's more just soft and plush uh, but you know it's still nice it's way better than just Phylon or EVA so you're getting really good tech for that shoe and uh, you know it's a great bang for your buck option number two is an incredible performer and it caught me off guard I was like mm, I don't know about the shoe but then I got it and it was incredible and it's the Puma Clyde hardwood it's coming in at 120 bucks the material is you know right off the bat the material is really really nice and the toe uh, it's very soft very comfortable and not too thick like the KT5 but also like not super thin and then the ankle area you actually have a really nice leather material it's not it's not cheap feeling or anything and you get full length pro foam uh, I would say they did cage it up and you know they they did kind of ruin the cushion I, I would say by doing that but uh, it's still nice feels plush on, underneath the foot um, one of the more mellower feeling cushions on this list though but uh, it's still a really, really good performer. And also I would say it's really versatile. You know, you can play with it on court and you can rock it off court as well. It's a good looking casual shoe. It looks like a casual shoe. It doesn't look like a ball shoe. And moving on to my number one is the Jordan CP 3.12, which is normally a hundred bucks, but some colorways are on sale for 70 bucks right now on Nike.com. And the material is the best feeling knit on this list. If you, it's just like one of those knits where it's just like you put it on, you're like, it's so what a sexy time, you know what I'm saying? So the material, the new material is incredible. The, the, the material in the back is a really crappy feeling suede, but you know, what are you gonna do? And you don't really feel it too much, so it's not a huge deal. Cushion, also, it's like the Jordans, like whatever they're doing, it's a soft phylon. Pretty good compression in the heel, and then the forefoot zoom unit feels really nice. And not as, not as crazy as like the PG3 or anything like that, but a little bit mellower than that, but it's still, it's still great. And then the traction and all that is still a really good performer. So I, I'd say CP3.12 is number one. So anyways, that's my list. If you guys want a good bang for your buck shoe, and if you guys want a company's best tech in a shoe for pretty cheap, uh, I would suggest getting any of these shoes and should be fine. So if, again, if you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next one.